Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Unity as a student and make sure you get all the student perks. And uh, more specifically, I'm going to be showing you how to get the right version of Unity for the CS381 class at the University of Reno, Nevada. Uh, so yeah, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this store.unity.com forward slash academic forward slash Unity dash student web address, which I'll put in the description. When you come here, it's going to show you that you can uh, get access by clicking that button, or you can come down here and follow these three steps. So uh, the three steps involve authorizing with GitHub, applying the for the student developer pack, and activating your Unity student plan. I think uh, getting the student plan should be pretty fast. It might take a day or so for approval, uh, but it uh, it might be even faster than that. Uh, and the reason why you want the stu uh, Unity student account is uh, it, it comes with perks. Uh, so, for example, uh, there's a Unity splash screen when you try to uh, create an executable of your game. But uh, say you wanted to hide that uh, Unity splash screen, you have the ability to uh, get uh, make make that invisible and then put your own Unity splash screen up for your game. So yeah, th there's many other perks. Uh, this is the pro plan that you'll be getting uh, access to as a student. Uh, so yeah, anyways, uh, go ahead and click on the, the first step, which is authorize. I've already gone through this process, so it's going to look a little different for me, but just make sure you follow those three steps. Uh, and then it's going to say sign into your Unity ID. Uh, if you don't already have one, I say rather than signing up, uh, with like your standard email and password in these two fields, you should click on this Google button down here uh, because your UNR student account uh, is connected with Google. And I think this is a super easy way to sign in. Uh, so as you can see, once I signed in, it says I already have it. Uh, it says congratulations, uh, but you should arrive to the same screen after you go through the same steps that I did at one point. Uh, and then uh, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to want to install Unity Hub next, uh, manage your license on Unity Hub, and then activate that license. So uh, you can follow these three steps here to do that. I'm going to show you how to do that on my end. So uh, the next thing you're going to want to install is something called Unity Hub. Uh, what Unity Hub is, it's a way to manage your Unity versions with your Unity projects. And uh, and th it may be the case that you have like 15 Unity versions and this just makes it super easy to uh, uh, associate everything together. So uh, to get Unity Hub, you're gonna wanna go to this website, uh, Unity 3D forward slash get Unity forward slash download. And rather than picking this left option, I would say just go ahead and do download Unity Hub for now. Once you've downloaded and installed Unity Hub, you're going to want to sign into your account. And uh, you'll know if you're signed in in the upper right hand corner if you see your initials. But if you don't see your initials, then just go ahead and click that and uh, it should give you the option to sign in. So you can see I'm signed in under my university account here you're going to want to go ahead and manage your license. And you can see for me, I only have the personal license activated right now, which th this is fine to get by. I mean, you could do most of the things you, you want to do, uh, but uh, I, I think the pro version is much better. So let's go ahead and get that activated. So click this activate new license button, and then it's going to say Unity Personal or plus, plus or Pro. We're doing Plus or Pro, and then it's going to prompt you for a serial number. Uh, this serial number should have been emailed to you after you successfully went through that application process as a Unity student. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab that real quick and then paste it in. It seems that my serial number has expired since I've used this several years in a row. Uh, I need to update it and it's going to take a few days to process my application. So I can't quite submit that for this video, but take my word for it. You'll see an email and you can just copy and paste that serial number into here and you should have access to the pro version. Uh, if not, 
if it's taken too long, you could just get by with the the standard version. Uh, it sh that should be completely fine for the assignments in this course. So uh, now I'm going to show you how to install Unity versions and uh, how to get everything connected. So I have a bunch of projects here. Yours will probably look pretty empty, uh, uh, as expected. So click on this Installs tab on the left-hand side of this Unity Hub. And then uh, you can see I already have installed here Unity version 2019.4.1a f1. And it shows this like rounded kind of button looking thing, which says LTS. LTS stands for long term support. So, uh, yeah, we usually want long term support versions uh, because if you download an intermediate version, then uh, it may be changing so fast and it may be too experimental that uh, you you will uh, not be satisfied with your version. So uh, let's go ahead and click this add button. And the version we want for the CS31 class is 2018.4.19 F1. Uh, the reason why we want an older version is because this is what we've been using and we know that all our uh, our code and uh, assets work fine with this version. Uh, sometimes it may be the case that you're working on a project with many people and uh, you just want to make sure that everyone has consistent versions. So uh, if I if I click this 2018.4.32 F1 version, it's not the right version though. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and click on this link right here. Visit our download archive. When you come here, uh, it's going to propose to you all the different Unity versions, uh, 2020, 2019, 2018. Uh, but you can see these are not the long-term support versions. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on this link right here that says download LTS releases. And when you come to this page, uh, I like to click this drop down and click on 2018.4 to narrow down my search. And then it'll give you all the 2018 long term support versions. So there's quite a bit to pick from. Uh, as tempting as it'll be to click the most recent one, uh, don't do that. Look for the exact one that are, is required for your course or for your project. Uh, and s currently, uh, the date is 2021, March. 17th and this is what we use for the class it may be the case that the version changed which uh i think we'll update the video at that point to say that so uh yeah click on that drop down and then uh you're gonna want to go ahead and click this first link right here that says unity hub so uh it'll bring a little prompt to you and then click on open in unity hub so this will shoot you back into unity hub and then uh it'll be ready to install it directly into here so it's all linked up for you which is excellent so uh it's going to prompt you uh what modules you want to add to your uh unity version um modules are are good for uh extending your unity interface uh and and adding like additional build support so uh you can build to Android devices, you can build to iOS devices, Linux, Mac, uh, you name it. Uh, but we're mostly only interested in WebGL. Well, I mean, personally, I'm interested in WebGL. Uh, it might not be required for the class that you build for Web. web. Uh, that just means it builds to the internet uh, or to an HTML browser that you can play your game on. You might see an option on here for uh, installing Visual Studio. Make sure you get Visual Studio. That's like the most important uh, module. Uh, Visual Studio is an IDE. I'm I'm sure if you're familiar with Windows and developing uh, on Windows, then Visual Studio is like the must-have uh, IDE. And if you if you download Visual Studio through this modules panel, then uh, it will connect Unity with it and make sure that you see all the uh, uh, compiler errors and uh, syntax errors as you program 
for Unity. So, uh, yeah, I, it's really hard to program, I would say, in Visual Studio without that. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, uh, go ahead and click Install once you've had your desired modules selected. And then you can see the download process starts, and its progress is indicated by this blue line above the, the panel. Unity version has finished installing. You can see that it's uh, I, I can interact with it. And say I did accidentally forget to add a module, I could go ahead and click on Add Modules with these three buttons in a row right here. And uh, I, can, I can extend uh, the things I may have forgot to install. I could also uninstall it here. I could show it in the uh, File Explorer and then uh, if you look on the bottom, you can also see which modules you have installed. Uh, it'll show mostly your build supports right here. Uh, so you can see you have the WebGL build support. All right, so uh, now you are ready to create your first Unity project. To go ahead and create your first Unity project, you're going to want to go ahead and click on the drop down button right here. And uh, rather than clicking on new, when you click on that drop down button, it'll offer uh, a Unity version to select from. And uh, when you create a new project, it's going to ask you if you want to do a 2D, 3D, 3D with extras, high def uh, RP. Uh, I like to just do the 3D. And you could always convert your 3D to a 2D, 2D if you wanted to. So here I'm just going to call this a test project and click create and then you'll see unity will launch up and you will be ready to go